So, Bismillah. We are, we are going to be doing this exercise. Read length and width of a rectangle from the user and display the area of the rectangle. So just a very simple exercise that takes two values and then display them. Did I mention what's the data type of these values? No. So you're free to use whatever you want. When, I, when I'm not mentioning anything, you're free to use any data type. So now I'm going to create a new application. I'm going to name it week three exercise two and finish every time you create a you're working on exercise create a project for it every project is going to be separate in a different uh, every exercise in a separate project so now I need to read two numbers so before that I need to have something that allows me to read the two numbers which is the scanner class so the scanner class I'm going to name it KB or whatever name you give it new scanner yes and then uh, system dot in you see i'm using the help of netbeans by using this control space it just added the import the import is important i did not type it myself as you have noticed by using netbeans help with the control space and then you select it it just do it for me but if i don't get that help you have to type it and remember you have to type the import before the class and after the package so now I have this variable that's going to allow me to read numbers. So what kind of numbers would I, do I want to read? Well, I'm going to go for double, just for fun. So double uh, width, and we said the length and width. So I'm going to have double length, and double width, and length. So I'm just declaring them. I'm not putting anything in them because I will just put something in them right now. I'm just going to... Uh, do this uh, please enter the length or width of the rectangle or you know what it will be better to do something else and this is something that is not necessary but is recommended what is this some kind of description of what this program is doing this program reads the width and length of a rectangle and displays the area I don't really have to do this but if I do it it will be much better I'm doing putting some backslash n just to have some extra spaces between this and then I'm going to ask the user to please enter the length now when I mention the length it's knowing that uh, the length is of a rectangle that uh, later on it is going to be used to display the array of uh, the area of that rectangle so it gives more sense and I'm going to use the print instead of print ln because I would like to have the number to be on the same line than this is this prompt so I'm going to do this so we said length so I'm going to put length is equal to kb dot next double I'm using control space and the control space gives me that uh, list of options and uh, I advise you to use it as well but you have to be sure that you know exactly what the spelling of these things are so you don't get uh, something wrong so width and then i'm going to put width control space you see it just finishes the things for me now i have those values sorry of course the double d uh, is capital it is required here because this is how it is how it is mentioned if you see the list you have to be careful that you know this has to be exactly the same way it is because if you put yeah always because if you put double with just lowercase it's just going to complain there is no I cannot find next double like this it has to be with the capital D so that's that's what don't don't confuse this with this this is a uh, different because this is a data type and this is a, m a name of a method that allows that contains double in it it's like I my double how about this you see this is just a name that I put myself look at this thing with the same like this this is just a name that somebody gave to this method or function that does something but uh, what I really would like to in case of doubt well of course uh, just you have to now know that this is how it is but in the in the quiz you don't have the practical part so you're not going to be using the computer but you have to 
get those things. If I give you some code and then inside that code the D is lowercase and I tell you what's the problem here, you have to say well D is a, is a, should be capital. That's you should know how the spelling of things. If I do something like this, for example, system and then put S lowercase, and you have to be able to okay notice that oh there's a problem there. So pay attention to those small details because they count. So now I just I've just uh, prepared the program to read between the, this length and width. All I need to do is to calculate and display the area. I can do this in two ways. One way is to declare another variable that I called that I'll call area, and then after I get those things, I just calculate the area, which is the width multiplied by the length. And then the last thing I'm going to display the area is and then display the content of this variable right and that's it that will be it and I'm going to show you another way so this program reads the width and length of a rectangle and displays the area uh, so it just these are the backslash ends you see them I put some of these backslash ends at the end if the if the string is too long I can just press somewhere on the enter and you see NetBeans is going to split it for me just to be able to you can see this is the first part and this is the second part so I can see everything in the same window I mean same part of the same view so that's the that's what solves the problem now I need, just need to try it and 5 and uh, 6 so this is the area is 30 fine no problems now I, there's another oh, there's another way is that instead of using this variable area I can just remove that and just put the re result of this calculation do I need to put the parentheses here not really because when I have a plus and a multiplication the multiplication is done first so there's no need to put parentheses like here but if it wasn't a multiplication it was a plus for whatever, whatever reason now if I do something like this the parentheses are required because if I don't this is going to be doing this from left to right when they are the same level it's going to be done from the left to right so doing this from the left to right which means if I run this I'm going to have okay you see this is 6.0 5.0 why 6.0 because I started with the width here that's why I'm saying this area is and then it added 6.0 and then it added 5.0 to this the whole text so be careful put the parentheses in both cases it will not hurt so if you're not sure just make sure that you would like to not be confused put the parentheses because if you put the parentheses now whatever you type is going to be now the right formula it's doing the right thing so you start by doing the calculation and then it adds it to the text so now it just swapped it to multiplication so which one is better adding the variable or not adding the variable for this example uh, maybe not having the variables is a little bit a little bit better why because I'm using less memory because I'm not going to be declaring this variable I'm just declaring two variables instead of three well it doesn't make a big difference because we're working on computers but maybe in some devices with a very limited memory it will make a difference let's say for like some kind of on board computers that are working on some cars so uh, this is going to be is something that is uh, needing uh, uh, I mean uh, some efficient programming which means you don't declare something unless you really need it so that's uh, that's the idea is it okay that's exercise two That's not what I meant. I meant to do this.